my channel, it's the new Mindscape Babe here, and today I'm going to do a video for you guys about my wedding. It's now been a month, uh, over a month now, since uh, me and Liam got married. So the theme of my, of our, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> of our wedding um, was a woodland vibe. Um, so woodland themed festival wedding was really what I wanted to go for. My dream would have been to get married in a forest, um, outdoors, even if it was raining, people would just have umbrellas and it would be so magical, just covered with fairy lights, it would just look incredible. We were presented with um, an incredible venue um, and it was actually where I went to school for the first 13 years of my life. So I thought, okay, well, we'll have a look and I said it to Lee and he was like, a school a school we we turned up and I mean the first thing he said to me was if this was my school I would have actually gone for it it's stunning it's honestly it's such a beautiful beautiful school lovely grounds and anyone that came can vouch for that so Lee came around to the idea and he was like you know it's, it's actually really nice I could definitely envision this happening here it is a long travel long travel fair distance shall I say, for um, my friends and family, um, on his part, and if people aren't going to travel for you to your wedding, bah. It's a one-time thing, so just... Come on. Why did you go with your colour theme? So, I mean, there wasn't really discussion when it came to the colour theme. I just kind of said to Lee, so this is the colour theme. This is it. You see that car over there? That's our colour theme. You see that wall over there? That's our colour theme. Oh my god, look at that tile. Our colour theme. And he's just like, okay, okay. Um, the, the idea I had in my head, it was like this dusty, sagey green, almost a greyishy colour. The exact colour I wanted is actually called Celadon. And I have one of the bridesmaids dresses here. This one wasn't actually worn because we did have a spare one. That's a whole nother story. And this is the colour. So you can see it's it's not sage, because sage is much darker, and it's not obviously mint, um, but it's a very dusty, light, pastel -y, dirty... <laughs> These are all really ugly words. Um, it's, a, it's a stunning colour, basically. So I went on the hunt for bridesmaids dresses, online, predominantly. And then I did find a dress that was on ASOS, um, but it was out of stock in every single size, and I was like, wow. <laughs> then I found a website called JJ's House, which there might be brides out there that have used them and have bad experiences or used them and have great experiences, um, but they are actually a Chinese website. <laughs> but their dresses were great because I really wanted each and every bridesmaid to be comfortable in what they were wearing, to like their dress enough to wear it again and to, if I was one of their bridesmaids, do the same for me. Um, it was never a list of colours to choose from, it was a colour I had in my head from the get-go. Lee had no say in it, it was mine and that's what we had and I'm so glad he was so accommodating for it because it got to a few months prior, actually it was probably a good six months prior, and I was like, what would you like to wear for the wedding? And he was like, hmm, I'd like to wear a tweed suit. And I was like, oh, you are a surprisingly really hot on right now. <laughs> okay. And then a perfectly coloured celadon that was written as sage green suit came available on ASOS. And I was like, you know, how do you feel about wearing the same colour as the bridesmaid? So I thought of the suit. And he tried it on. And I think he secretly loved it. But every time he showed it to people who came over, um, he was like, yeah, this is the suit I'm wearing. Isn't it nice? I'm going to look like an apple. And then just dishing. <sighs> the groomsmen are on the other end of the spectrum just said to all of them, grey trousers, white shirt, I'll buy your braces, I'll buy your tie. Bosh. Um, how many bridesmaids did you have? I had uh, three bridesmaids and one junior bridesmaid. Uh, my junior bridesmid was my stepsister and she uh, threw the petals 
for me ahead of my walk down the aisle um, because my daughter, she probably would have eaten the petals if she had them. And, and then I have three bridesmaids, my maid of honour, um, who is my oldest and best friend, and my two of my sisters uh, were bridesmaids as well. I did have one other person, but they dropped out. Whole another story. And there were five groomsmen, so that kind of tweaked my OCD just a little bit. But it did work aesthetically it looked great where did you get your dress from and why did you choose it so in my head when i was going dress hunting dress sh 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 dress hunting i envisioned long sleeves plunging neckline lace all over really sexy fitted mermaidy and that was it in my head anyway I had fallen in love with that idea as soon as we got engaged, but then the more I looked online at dresses, the more I came around to the idea of something a lot more simplistic on me. Because of the abundance of tattoos that I have, I thought that I would just look a bit overcomplicated. And a friend of mine actually got married in November ahead of me, and she suggested a, a studio uh, just outside of Birmingham to have a look at. Had a little search on their website, and in love with it. I sent the link to her straight away and I was like, this dress is so nice. She replied like, yeah, yeah, isn't it? That's the one I'm getting married in in November. I didn't go with that dress. So we're still friends. So I sent my mum the link to that dress and I was like, just find me something like this and then send me the link and we'll go shopping together. She came back almost straight away with this gown from Fronovius. Instantly fell in love with it. And, and then when I went, with my mum and my sister, uh, they said, yes, of course, we'll be trying on that dress, but we want you to try on lots of different styles so that you are 100% set on the idea. I tried on loads of different kinds of dresses, and they were all lovely, but none of them were as nice as the one that I chose, that I opted for. It was instantaneous, fell in love with it straight away, and I think it is true that when you know, you know. Cake and cakes. I wrote that down because a lot of people have asked me if my cake was vegan and who did it. So my cake was done by uh, at row underscore bakes on Instagram, though on Facebook she's sugar sorcery, so I'm not actually sure what your professional name is, but row bakes did my cake and it was vegan, three tiers. Um, the top tier was uh, red velvet, the middle was chocolate Oreo and the bottom was salted caramel. Oh my god, it was so, so delicious. There's still a slice in my freezer ready for, ready, ready, ready for our anniversary next year. And then I had cupcakes and uh, peanut butter cups, Rocky Road pieces, and loads of other little like treaty nibbles supplied by Miss Muffin Top from Brighton. Um, I've been sort of online friends with her for some time, gave us loads of stuff to choose from, and they went literally within minutes. They were so, so good. But she won't give me the password, so. Online friends, we shall stop. How much was your dress? <laughs> Nancy. Did your groom have any insight to the wedding? Um, so, no. The one piece of insight Lee had to the wedding was, we should have a Hessian runner down the aisle so you have something to walk down. He, his insight was opting for a hog roast. Um, obviously, as someone that really doesn't and is completely opposed to eating meat, um, that was a difficult thing, but it went down really well and the people who supplied it did vegan and vegetarian options as well. And I just didn't go near it. I can't say much more than that. What songs did you use for your first dance and your walk down the aisle? So, so the walk down the aisle, I walked down to a piece by Iron Audi, uh, which was Nouveau Blanche. Nouveau Blanche. And the procession was three and a half minutes long. I wanted to make sure people had the opportunity to cry, but I don't think anyone did because just before me, my daughter came down smothered in chocolate, so it kind of defeated the point. The first dance, we thought about this for so long because I had ideas of what I wanted to dance to and he didn't really care either way. He was like, no, you really don't care. But everything I suggested, he was like, no, but you don't care, so, so I can choose. My song too. 
You don't care. It's fine. We didn't have our first dance selected until a week or two before the wedding. We actually opted for Mumford and Sons and Birdie, which is a piece that was, I think it was written for Brave in the, the Disney film. My daughter has fallen in love with Brave and it's the very end song. And we obviously we had to listen to it loads over the months prior to the wedding because she watched it so much. And we both kind of fell in love with it. And we thought, well, you know what? No one knows it. But it's for us anyway. And for the first dance song, we did bring her into it and just give her a bit of a cuddle and a bit of a swing. And because she recognised the song, I think she she appreciated that. Would you change anything about your wedding? I don't think anyone's going to complain on your wedding day, so if there were problems, they would know about them anyway. But the, the one thing I would change um, is how much I smile. That sounds really strange, but I have, I have a, my sort of photo smile. And then I've got my real, true, happy smile. That was the one thing I would change. Just pay a little bit more attention to my face, smiling. I've had some of the professional photos back, not all of them yet. Um, and a couple of them I'm full on. It's so scary. Do you have any advice for upcoming brides? My, I mean, for me, I'm super OCD and my OCD paid off. I think the fact that I was so anal about everything helped me to be calm because I knew that everything was done and I knew that it was done in the way I wanted it to be rather than sat worrying and then turning up and being like, oh, it's not quite how I wanted it, sort of thing. Write lots of lists, make sure you're happy with things on the running up to the wedding, day-to-day -day lists, that's what I did, and stuck by them. I would say don't worry about getting drunk, don't worry about making sure you sample absolutely everything that's there, just savour every moment because it adds up so quickly, it really, really does. How did you feel the morning after the wedding? I, I remember waking up the next morning and just thinking, wow, wasn't that insane? I wouldn't change a thing. And that happiness, that initial instant <sighs> was just what I needed because it would have just been a complete <clears throat> if I'd woken up thinking, oh, <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> Why bring a downer to it? It was always going to end at some point. Don't dwell on the fact it's ended. Just love that it even happened. But that's basically it with all of those questions. A lot of them were sort of repeat questions, but I hope I answered everything for any upcoming brides and anyone that wanted a little bit of insight to my wedding. I will be putting up lots of wedding photos. If you do have any other additional questions, please ask below or drop a message on my Instagram at Leonora Gabriella. Let me know what else you'd like to see from me and I'll catch you later.